involved too. At Sky Sports PL using the hashtag the debate. Send us whatever question you would like. Don't worry, we do filter them. Gents, uh, welcome. Good evening. Europa League is where we're going to start the new Thursday night football. Arsenal in particular, resounding win, 4 0 against Standard Liège. A lot of youth in the side. Um, does, I mean, how, how soon are we going to see this youthful side? Starting in the Premier League, are they good enough for the Premier League? Get Martinelli with two goals tonight, Willock's on the score sheet, we know how good Tobias is. Is this a team that's going to transfer into the domestic campaign? Well, I think it, you know, it partially already has. Mm. Um, you know, Torreira, Sabaya, Willock, all those players you mentioned are featuring mm. in Arsenal's team. Maybe not holding down a regular starting position, but they're, they're slowly and gradually getting brought into the team. And I think that's important for Arsenal because at the moment... You know, it's a great way for them to strengthen if they can prove or, you know, Chelsea have proven mm -hmm. of late that if they give these players a chance, perhaps they will be good enough. Until you play, mm. you never really know. So, you know, the opportunities like tonight for Emre to play some of these lads is important to, to see where they are, you know, at this level. Will you be judging them in that sense? I mean, is there, is there a huge gap between the Europa League on a Thursday night and a Sunday afternoon in the Premier League? I think there is. I think that's why you've seen so many changes tonight. So it, it, it is that. And, and again, all you can do as a young player, you've got to go take that opportunity, do as well as you possibly can and, and get in those results. And, and if you can get on the score sheet like mm. you've seen this mm. evening. So that, that only does you well. And, and, and it's the only way you can showcase your talents. You have to be given the opportunity. But to have so many in at once, you mm. know, you'd, be better, you'd actually do better as well going in a stronger team as a young player, just one or two. I, I used to find that in terms of if, if you are going to get a game, I remember back to when I was very young and, and starting out, it was always nice to come in and play around some of the senior players. Mm. I think when there was wholesale changes, it sometimes doesn't do the young lads any favours if you're playing a good team because you just get so exposed as a group. Whereas tonight, the opposition, like I say, wasn't great. So I think it's worked for mm. Arsenal tonight to give that amount of young players an opportunity. So it's four goals scored, a clean sheet. Um, we saw them in the Monday Night Football against Manchester United. I mean, questionable about the, the, the level of quality that was on show from well, both sides, you've got to say, as well. Um, I mean, how does, how does an Arsenal fan react to this? Currently fourth in the league, resounding result on a Thursday night. They move into the weekend's fixture. It's got, they've got Bournemouth. Are they viewing this as two separate entities or part of the season as a whole so far? I think they'll see it as two separate things, if I'm honest, because... As we've mentioned, at the moment in this group stage, mm. it's, it's night and day to the Premier League. Mm. Um, so from that point of view, I think they'll look at it as, as more of a, 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 a blooding in opportunity for young players. And again, what Arsenal have used it for tonight is bringing back players from injury. Holdings played 90 minutes, mm. Bellerin, Tierney, mm -hmm. massive addition who, who's got 90 minutes under his belt. So, you know, will they feature it at the weekend? But I think the Premier League is a completely different entity mm. to them at the moment. As it gets to the latter stages, maybe that, that starts to change. But right now... It's in, where, where are Arsenal going to be? What do they want? You mm. mentioned the supporters. Where do they see... Do you know, is fourth going to be good enough? Do they want to progress in the Europa League? Because you know, some people are now, obviously, the thought process of... It, it sort of gets in the way, especially mm. if you want to try and qualify as high as you can at a club like Arsenal. But, again, as you said, bringing players back, that's going to be key. So it's, it's fitted in quite nicely Fourth, for, for me, is good enough for Arsenal at the moment. I think if you're... That'd be a successful season. I, I think so. If the supporters are sitting there going, right, if we're going to solely focus on, on the Premier League at the moment, fourth, we'll take that. Mm -hmm. I think being in the Champions League next year and, and mixing it in that group... Would you have said to finish fourth at the start? You wouldn't, would you? No. To be fair, you'd have said, yeah, I wouldn't have had them in the top no. four. I don't think you would, but you know they've, they've got an opportunity, I think. They looked at the start of the season and thought, maybe there's a couple of teams that aren't quite doing as well as what they could do, and perhaps there is an opportunity for Arsenal to finish there. Looking at these younger players, yes, they've, they've tooled up in certain areas, obviously Louise in defence, Pepe going up front. Have they got a squad big enough to deal with the amount of games that we're, we're looking at for, this, for the Arsenal side? I think they have, and I think they've got players who understand the mentality and that they've got some players who are seasoned in playing in Europe. Mm. I think that's the key. Um, when you look at clubs that have been heavily affected by that, i.e. Burnley, maybe the Wolves start to the season, they're not totally conditioned to playing European football and the domestic league mm. very often. So I think Arsenal have the mix of that. And with the young players, it gives them an opportunity to play, which I think is important. Mm. And this blooding in period. I mean, are we looking at Arsenal in... I hesitate to use the word transition because that gets thrown around a lot, doesn't it? I mean, they have spent money. But yet we still, we still don't really know 
what what it actually is moving forward. You questioned uh, Matt just then about where is Deem successful, and then there's obviously a, a gap between where is Deem successful and actually getting there by the end of the season. Um, do, do we? Do, and so, how do we judge Unai Emery so far? I'm still not sure what they are, what this mm. Arsenal side are, how they play, what they're special at. And again, judging it is only going to be judged by the results. League, league finish, mm. that'll be key for him if he can do that. But yes, defensively for me, and you'll probably, I'm sure you'll agree, they still can't get that right. Mm. Thinking David Luiz, what's going to happen there? And again, just keep making those errors. Well, with this back four that played tonight could possibly be as good as the back four that's been playing in the Premier League. When you look at Tierney, Bellingham at right back, Holding, Mustafi's in there, I know he's not having a great time and, and wouldn't make it in, but mm. <clears throat> when you look at that back four and compare to how the back four's performed in the Premier League this year, you'd say th three of those players may well be in, in the back four when they're fully fit and ready. They've been really waiting, you feel, the Arsenal fans, to see, obviously, Hector Butter in back, but also seeing Tierney in, in full flight, basically. I mean, getting a bank of games un under his wing after coming back from injury. Are, are these, I mean, we, and we've seen with the best teams in the division, Manchester City and Liverpool, Fullback and those wider parts of the pitch are, are so vital. Have they got two fullbacks there that could go up against the best in the division? You feel, from an attacking point of view, mm. yeah, I think so. I think Bellerin maybe is more attacking based than what he is defensively. Mm. I think his natural defensive awareness isn't something that is his strength, and that for me is his biggest weakness. Mm. Tierney, it'd be great to see him in the Premier League. I mean, I've, I've seen him tonight; looks really good, so nice with the ball. Mm -hmm. Um, and again, he's going to get really tested defensively in the Premier League. But those two going forwards and, and using the ball are, are right up there for me.